Hey everyone, it's Shannon. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this flirty fall makeup look. Starting out with a clean face, I went ahead and I applied L'Oreal's True Match Foundation all over my skin using a disposable sponge. I feel like the disposable sponges work best for me, but that's just my personal opinion. Next, I went ahead and used Maybelline's Age Defying Concealer and put this all over my eyes and underneath my dark eye circles and blended that in as well. Once that's done, I like to let my foundation and my concealer set for a while, at least a few minutes. I feel like that really helps the makeup stay on. Then I'm going in with Coco Star from the Natural at Night palette and I'm going ahead to fill in my eyebrows. Then I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Spool End Brush of their eyeshadow brush and I like to just comb my eyebrows down and I feel like it makes them look more natural. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Translucent Powder and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes but not blending it in. I want it to be there on purpose to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow I'm doing since we are doing a more smoky look. I'm finally going ahead and putting powder all over that foundation after it's set in place to help it set even better. Again with the Too Faced Natural at Night palette, back in with Coco Star, and I'm going to put this into my crease and blend it in. Once that's blended, I like to go in my outer V in the outer corner of my eye just to help it look more blended and well put together. For my eye shape, I think that this looks best on me, so that's what I like to do with my makeup. Then I'm taking the Coastal Scents Smoky Palette and I'm going in with their black shadow and I'm going ahead and putting this in the crease of my eye and also in that outer V and just blending it in until I have it the exact shade I want. And then I'm also pulling this down into my lower lash line and then taking a blending brush to blend it all out and make it look nice and polished. Next, I'm going in with this dark burgundy palette and I'm just putting this on the outside part of my lid. Then I'm going in with this lighter reddish burgundy color and I'm just patting this down and packing it onto the lower part of my lid. And with this pencil brush, I'm going ahead and taking this orange pigment and I'm putting this in the corner of my eyes to add some color and fun, flirty eyes. Next, I'm taking this yellow pigment and putting it in the corner of my eyes to add some more color. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take Smolder by MAC. It's an eyeliner pencil that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I'm putting this in my lower lash line and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my ring finger. Now once I'm done blending that out, I'm going to also go ahead and put this in the inner rims of my eyes to make them more dramatic and stand out. Next I'm taking my Alame Liquid Liner and just applying this eyeliner to the top of my eye. No winged liner, nothing fancy, just, you know, fun and flirty. Once that's done, I'm taking my highlighter, Silver Dusk from MAC, and I'm putting this underneath my brow bone to just add definition in the highlight. And I'm also going to take this and put it in the corners of my eyes. And then once I'm done doing my eyeshadow, I like to take that powder and just wipe it away and then powder the rest of my face. Now I'm curling my eyelashes so that we can get ready for mascara. This is my favorite mascara, the Manga Mascara. I like to put a few coats of this on and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the 3D mascara as well. Now I wanted to show you guys the difference. This is with the unique 3D lashes and then this is just with the Manga Mascara. So there's definitely a big difference and I'm now obsessed with the 3D Mascara. It just takes forever but it's totally worth it so that you don't have to wear fake eyelashes. So I don't know about you but I barely have eyelashes. They're like totally non-existent. So <laughs> you will see in this tutorial that I literally put like pounds and layers and layers of mascara on to make it 
seem as though I have eyelashes when I really don't. So go ahead, sit back, relax, drink some coffee, some tea, some lemon water, because this is going to take a while. Finally, that's done. Now I'm going in with my NARS concealer. This is in custard. I like to put this on after I've done all my makeup just to really highlight underneath my eyes so that it looks pretty and it doesn't look like I'm tired. Then I mix the NYX Butter Gloss and MAC Lip Glass on my lips. Then I am taking the Blunt Bronzer by MAC and just going ahead and bronzing my whole entire face to make me look a little bit more tan than I actually am. Yes, I've had my nose done three times, but I still like to contour that bit. Next, I am taking Exposed by Tarte Blush and just putting this on the apples of my cheek and anywhere the sun would naturally hit. Now, I am taking NARS Orgasm Stick Highlighter and putting this on the apples of my cheeks and on the bridge of my nose and then just blending it in. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the Silver Dusk Highlighter, it's a powder, and I'm going to put that right over it just to set it, and that's it. Your look's complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more, let me know. Check out my cool pumpkin I made in the background. I love you guys, and thank you so much for supporting this video. I hope to see you in my next one. See you guys later. What's the point of this?